Today is March 20th, 2020. It is Friday. Today marks the second day of this uh, COVID-19 um, 30 days lockdown for us here in Nevada. Now, um, for non-essential businesses, um, I wanted to give you a quick information as far as what's going on in the real estate market. This way you get a, you know, a firsthand information from me rather than what you see online. Um, so I've been tracking this uh, data more closely in the last two days. So today and yesterday, because the announcement was on Wednesday. And this is going to be interesting to kind of see how the market reacts. Uh, that's one part of it. The other thing I wanted to talk about is uh, I wanted to touch base first with clients who are already in contract with me, uh, both sellers and buyers. Uh, for the buyers, unfortunately, we have no contract terms or, or um, provision within the contract to allow us to get out of the contract uh, because of these, okay? Unless you have lost a job and not able to get loan and etc. Now those, you know, obviously we're already in touch, uh, we're, in, we're talking. Uh, for those, uh, for general knowledge, for the rest of you guys, uh, we have an addendum coming up, it's called COVID-19 addendum. And that addendum actually allows the buyers, allow any buyers to get an extension, 30 days extension automatically. After 30, after 30 days, it will be uh, uh, a cancellation or however they want to do it by mutual agreement. Uh, I am preemptively saying this because those were those are the terms that are on this COVID-19 addendum in other states. I have colleagues in California, in Florida, and I forgot what's the other one. But anyway, the three of them have sent me the addendum and I look at them, they're all fairly similar to many extent. It's just how they word it. Uh, so it would be interesting to see how we're going to have ours. How is that going to affect us? That's going to be a good question because uh, I think what's going to happen is a lot of sellers who are already in contract uh, with a buyer, if the buyer do extend, it changes the way that they're going to be able to move or when they're going to move and logistics of everything from movers to where they're moving to, whatever's going on on that deal at that end. So. Uh, I'm not going to speculate too soon, but forms are definitely going to be out there within, you know, if not by tomorrow, it'd be early. Well, it won't be tomorrow at this point. It'd be early next week. Uh, they're working hard on it. Okay, so that's cancellation and addendum. Next thing I wanted to talk about is the statistics that I was telling you that I was tracking. Now, before I get on there, I want to quickly jump backwards uh, to go to 2019 so you can kind of compare uh, so as of the end of 2019, uh, single family homes, we have sold about 32,000 homes and 7,800 of them, uh, no, 32,000 homes, single family, and then in addition, 7,800 are condo and townhomes. We closed at 312,990 as far as median price for single family home. Median price for townhomes and condos is 178,000, okay? Uh, we have, um, what can I tell you? We have sold, okay, I did already told you that. Uh, the rest of the things, not important, but those are the few figures I want to tell you. So 300, we close, so this is an important number to kind of see when we're going, uh, when we're going to be tracking going forward. So 312,990 is single family, medium price last year, 2019. The year before was 295,000. So we've gone up, okay. Uh, so been, we've been going up, you know, very uh, in the last three, six, uh, four years or so. So we've been since 2015 and so forth, we've been going steadily. Uh, let's see. Um, so those are single family and townhome. Now let's jump back on here. New listings yesterday, we have 84 of them, 61 back on the market. So out of the 60, out of the 84, I told you, 61 are part of these uh, 84 new listings. Um, the other few numbers that uh, you need to know is the under contract. So we have 87 homes that went on a contract yesterday, meaning listings that were on the market, 87 of them turning the contract. We have 64 homes sold yesterday, okay? So this hasn't really taken uh, the toll on uh, what's going on yet, okay, from that announcement. What we're gonna see is it's gonna change. And as of today, the under contract is down to 42, half of it, okay? More than half, actually. So it's dropped more than 50%. That's gonna be normal number we're gonna start seeing. Under contract, 
uh, where we had no we did talk about under contract right let's see under contract 16 yes so under contract was um, oh what did I tell you so 64 sold yesterday today is 42 so it wasn't a half beg your pardon under contract 87 yesterday today 16 is under contract so we see a huge drop again 64 closed yesterday uh, 42 closed today on the contract 87 strong strong numbers there and then today is down to 16. these few these two numbers going to change you know in the next few days we'll see how this whole COVID 19 is going to affect us now um the other number I wanted to show you is, um, uh, so today we have 65 new listings that came on the market, 47 back on the market. So out of that 65, 47 are part of that 65. So yesterday, 61 back on the market, today, 47 back on the market, total new listings yesterday, 84, today, total new listings, 65, okay? Um, Yesterday, we had a huge number that dropped their price. 58 listings dropped their price. So I'm going to continue to update you on a weekly basis. Uh, these numbers, how it's tracking, I wouldn't update you every day because it, you know, it, it needs to gain enough data to kind of give us an idea what's going on. So that's the stats for today. Uh, how is that going to affect us um, going forward? So I'll tell you what's going on in the market. A lot of uh, builders are still open. The sales office is still open. Constructions are still going on. Um, some I heard from, uh, I actually was forwarded one of the email from KB. I understand they are closed uh, as far as the traffic. Uh, most of the communities that I know of firsthand, like Century Homes, Party, Pulte, they are open still, okay, S still regular hours. So give me a call before you go visit any of those locations because we're going to be scheduling appointments. They are going to be uh, in a very precautionary stage when they do open for people to come through. Uh, for those clients who are already in contract for new homes, uh, I've already been in communication with you. Uh, so some of them have stopped. Um, you know, some of them are still carry on. Uh, so we are trying to figure out where we are at this point. Okay. So again, um, that's the new home site. Now recorder's office is still open. Okay. That means closing is still happening. Uh, banks are still open. Wiring can still happen. Uh, finance, uh, you know, funding and everything can still happen. Title companies are still open right now. All the title companies that I know personally are all open there. So there's no, they're working remotely. They are not letting you come to the office to do signing anymore at this stage. Okay. Yesterday was different. Today is different. You know, every day is changing. So as of today, most of them are switching into uh, remote signing, which is a mobile signing. They're going to send somebody to come to you and sign with you to, you know, minimize the risk of uh, exposure or whatever. Anyhow, so that's that part. Now, how is it going to change going forward? I don't know. But as of right now, a lot of these are still happening remotely. Um, going forward, uh, oh, interest rate. Let's talk about interest rate. Uh, last week, interest rate was still hovering around three, mid, low threes. Uh, to, you know, I think towards the end of last week and going this week, it's already at four. Probably now you're looking at four. Um, I have a preferred lender that I work with, David Driscoll. Uh, I, will con I will put his contact information on there. He's a good guy to talk to for refi because if you are in a situation where you have a large interest rate or uh, you're going to stay in your house for a little bit, um, maybe consider refi to get you into a better position, okay? Um, but he'll be a better person to kind of consult you on that, okay? Um, other than that, I think that we don't have more uh, solid information that I can share. The, oh, I do have one more. Uh, Shopping Angels. Um, now, I've reached out to a few of my clients, um, my senior clients, uh, but I want to extend this not just to my senior clients, whoever, you know, who have a single parent or 
whatever your situation is that you're not able to leave the house if i can offer my help to kind of go grab your stuff for you and leave it outside the door for you i'm, I'm happy to do that okay uh, so please reach out to me whether it's picking up groceries whether it's picking up your prescriptions i can zip in and out of places very quickly so it's not a problem for me so uh please just uh and i know a lot of my clients do have little children they don't want to get exposed as much as possible so as my senior clients uh, i know you guys are very capable but uh so again i'm available now if you want to find somebody else to do the job for you uh uh do you can this you can call this company called shopping angels envy and they are actually a non-profit company uh and a group rather so here's the number 702-526-9856 702-526-9856 as far as i know they are offering this service for the seniors only um you might have a hard time trying to get over anybody right now just because they are getting overwhelmed with the request that's why i'm offering my help um please feel free to call me. Uh, other than that, I hope everybody is keeping safe and um, I am your source of information for real estate. Uh, if there is any numbers that you need, I actually have to tell you, the numbers I shared actually is just single family and townhomes only because uh, I my, my market, my personal market for condo is very, very small. So I track primarily single family and townhome. Now, if you are in the market, my clients, you're, you're in the market for town uh, condos and or even if you're just curious, wanting to know the stats on condos, I have them as well, okay? So feel free to call, email me. I'm gonna send you an update every week at the end of the week on what's going on uh, as far as real estate is concerned. Uh, feel free to text or call me and uh, you know how to reach me, okay? So stay safe, I will be back soon. Okay, bye.